I fished with um, Jacob Stone last week. I saw him in the uh, Zander video. He gave me a massive selection of um, Rapture, look, Rapture soft shells to, to use. I actually used them on the day. You saw the actually that one in the video, which we'll have a look at the curly tails. Um, but any any soft low, they're they're like a longer. If you look at these, my that recording. If you look at these, they're more of a long, slim, profiled. So it might be a longer low than me. In fact, it's the same size. It's a three inch low. But it's um, it's got a thinner body, different profiles. So give it, and what you'll find with those ones is you better you'll be able to swim in a little bit slower. You've got to work them. So put them on a really really light jig head. We'll have a look at we'll put them we'll rig them up there. Um, put them on a, on a light jig head, and you'll be able to work it nice and steady. Um, and th that sort of bit. I mean, look at colour. It's it's not. It's not silver, it's not quite white, it's got a bit of both and it. it's fishy and it's, it, you don't need anything complicated. Um, so just get yourself something like that. Loads, smaller sizes, bigger sizes. Really slim profile ones. So, great loads. Um, what I often have, like I said, is, is that on. I'll, I'll give you, I'll straight away, I'll give you one, one great, uh, great load to switch to. What you'll often find with that is it's, it's a great low for searching um, and you'll get you get, get quite a few bumps and it gives you an idea where the fish are. You get bumps and knocks and you know if there's any uh, greedy fish or there's any bigger fish you'll take that no problem. Uh, the smaller ones are not quite are not quite switched on sometimes want a smaller bait. So I'll have that um, but I always have. Um, I've got to pack it open. Yeah. Zeman Slim Swims. A little favourite. Basically, oh, it's a bit knackered. <laughs> so look at this. Zeman swims. I can't see it. Zeman slim swims. Really thin profile body. Now that's another two and a half inch low. Same size as um, same size as that one, but tiny body in comparison. And it's only on a small. I don't even think that's three gram. To be honest, it's probably two two gram or something. Uh, really small jig head and you can work that really slow through the water, the paddle tails don't take much and the paddle tail gets going and um, that's really great low uh, and that, that what you'll find is you'll get a lot of bumps on this but not, not any proper takes and switch to that and you'll, ca you'll catch I often have like, a, that's like a brighter colour tail's a bit knackered actually um, brighter colour um, but I've also got the no, more natural colours with darker browns and greens and things like that. So you'll, so you'll find it. I don't really bother what colour it is, but I'll have a bright colour and a, a natural colour. Um, the one thing to know about the, uh, the Zeman lows, or not the one thing, a couple of things to know about the Zeman lows. Um, you've got really, really stretchy um, plastic. That's just ridiculous. So if perch are just nipping tails, what you'll get on these is. You'll get your come back, you'll wind back in, and you basically you'll have a low like that because that tail's been nipped off. Uh, and it can be frustrating because, like that brand new low, alright, it's only cost me whatever, 50 pence or something, but you've got the tail bitten off straight away. Uh, the Zeman lows, really, really, uh, what they call it, a Laztec, is a, um, the brand name and the good that makes them. Um, and it's really stretchy stuff. So you're not getting tails bit off all the time, so that's really good. It's, it pike, you know, pike. Bite tails off really easy, and that that lasts that does last longer. I mean, that means it's a little bit more fiddly to get your lure on. You just, you sort of because you it's kind of like you're putting into elastic, and you put your jig head in and basically pulls itself back out. So you got to fit a little bit, a little bit more, sort of getting your getting your lure on. Um, if you're actually to eat that, it's a bit salt, not eat it, but taste it. It's a bit salty, and that's one of the things that these uh, Zeman lures have got in them. They've got like this salt in them, and basically what it turns the load into is um is a is a buoyant low, so that'll be lighter, yeah, but you get lows that float. So up sat on the bottom, it's not just sat like this; it sort of sits a little bit stuck up, and you can use that to your advantage with some other other lows which are a bit better. You can use that to your advantage. So what we've got here, probably quite a few few people have heard about these. Another Zeman low, the Zeman TRD, and like I'm talking about it being buoyant. Um, because it's buoyant and it wants to float, what you get is 
rather than the low that sits on the bottom like that when you're jigging, what this one actually does is it sits like that in the water. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, that's what it does. Again, it's really stretchy, really stretchy material. And like I say, so it's a different presentation than just a than just a soft, soft shag flat on the bottom like this. It can be a little bit more tempting, which means you can work it means you can work these in a different way, you can really slowly drag them along the bottom and they're going to be twitching and sticking up and a little bit more enticing and that can, uh, the pattern have been catching loads of fish you've only, got to put, you've only got to put Facebook on and whatever and you see loads of people catching these um, great load again, with the salt here, the buoyant ones, the stretchy um, and <laughs> actually what's quite, quite good about these is um, I actually cast in that Xander fishing video Cast one of these into a, tree, a lower lying tree, got my jig head stuck, and what actually happened was my jig head broke. My <laughs> jig head broke, and um, the load detached from the jig head, the, the seam and plastic, um, and then whatever, 10 minutes later, I was fishing and what came floating along with my actual TRD <laughs> with no jig head on. So I managed to scoop it up, so I lost my jig head, but I got a low back, so you know me, I don't like losing lows. So yeah. Yeah, really good so there's a lot of um a lot of those from Zeman about they do other soft shads larger ones like i like the, i like the small slim swims but they do other sizes they do um some bigger shads they even do really big like nine inch shads and things but um i like me uh trds are great they do a bigger size trd so this is a got what's called a finesse trd so it's i'll tell you exact size 2.75 inch so yeah but they do a bigger one which is like this sort of size um Good for greedy perch and, and pike and things like that. But you'll catch pike on these. There's a big pike being caught on those, especially places where it's a little bit. Um, a lot of people fishing it. Pike have seen pretty much everything. That slowly twitched along the bottom. You see me TID videos anyway with without out of fish these. Sometimes twitch it along the bottom. Sometimes flick it up, back down, flick it up, back down. There's different. You can just drag it along if you want. But um, I was catching on. Uh, um, I went out with a guy before I did the Zander Zander video. I went out with a guy to do just to catch some, get some confidence, um, and we fished the. Yeah, they're supposed to be pink, but they're quite a bit off pink now, but whatever. But uh, I fished the pink uh, TIDs and caught quite a lot of zander, little schoolies. It was good fun. It got me the confidence, and I'm just slowly dragging it along on three foot canals, murky canals, you know, hardly any colour, hardly any, any visibility. Uh, slowly dragging them along the bottom, just twitching them, and that's what worked. Um, I actually were catching. In the Zander video, I caught, I caught on those, which were, my, in fact, it was that low. That's the one. And you, actually, if you, a little tip. I'm not going to do a risk because it means putting kettle on and I've just had my pot of tea. But you can see that, that tail's a little bit a bit funny because of the, um, the heat. Run it back under some hot water, some, you know, some quite warm water, and you'll find your tail will be sitting back there. But that's... It's, that's actually had so many fish now, it's battered and bruised and, well, still catch some more fish, but um, you might just put it in the boiling water, it'll just put that tail back. Um, before I finish with the Zeman stuff, what you'll notice is the Zeman stuff, they're all in the packets. Um, it's really, really strange stuff. Most plastics, if you leave them in the box too long, um, but over time, they do go change them and so like turn like into a gooey mess. Um, the Zeman stuff seems to do it a lot quicker, and it and it seems to react with other soft plastics. So you'll have um, your relaxed copy toe shad and your Zeman slim swims in a in a bag or a, sorry in a box box together, and basically you'll that'll survive, but you'll have a big gooey mess of that. I don't know what happens. It's just a really strange reaction. So keep them separate. Um, Keep, keep these ones, I just keep them in the bags, so it's as easy as that, save them to mess about, I just keep it in its bag, zip lock bag, zip it back up, and I hope you don't have any issues, um, it's slightly like a bit of a oil inside, so it keeps them nice and fresh. Um, what's my bag for that one? Uh, those ones, fine, chuck them in a, in a, in a plastic tub box or whatever, you know, your normal tackle box and they're fine. Just don't mix them. Don't put, don't even think, I'm going to put the Zeman lures into a, um, 
into a tackle box, plastic tackle box because we often react with a tackle box. I have seen a post somewhere on, online where somebody said certain boxes uh, are okay for the Zeman ones. I just stay clear. So some ones are using, um, you know, like the wallets, the rig wallets and things like that. They just use, put those in them. Um, I, to be honest, I'll take um, a natural and a bright TID and a natural and a bright uh, slim swims, which is basically that one here. I'll take that one in, which is not too bulky, but not heavy. I just put those in my little bag. So I don't take loads. You don't need loads to take every, every single colour and everything. That's all I do. So keep them separate. Um, so how many, how many paddle tails do you need to get? You know, look, they, they work. Copy toes, slim swims. Uh, these Rapture ones are exactly, I've not used them, but um, Jacob was using those last week. And they seem to be doing all right, so I'll be giving those some stick. Um, the ones I used last week, the Rapture ones, were these curly tails. And these, he actually said, these grubs, which he told me there's nobody else has got these in country except me and him, so that was good. Um, but basically, a curly tail grub, complicated. It's a soft plastic without, instead of having a paddle tail, we've got a curly tail. Um, it's a small version of a, an eel or whatever, grubs, eels, whatever you want to call them, they're all the same. Um, these, were, these, were, these are spot on, nice little steady retrieve and that, that tail's wiggling away in the background. And that, it can be a difference between a paddle tail and a, um, a curly tail. Um, so the other grubs I used were these ones. They were quite good. Again, it's a little bit more substantial grub, this one. Good body on it, nice big tail. And you can get grubs like this in so many different sizes. You see, I use the, um, the, the XX, sort of the XL grubs that I use, big pike ones that are this sort of size, the big eels. That's just a smaller version, great for perch. And it's a good option to have. We'll look at different ways to rig, rig all these up in, in a sec. Other soft loads that you could get. It's quite, a, quite popular in um, America for, for bass fishing and things like that. They're starting to creep over here now. I can't find another packet. I've got another pack somewhere. It's been in the bag. But basically, little creatures and, you know, crows and crawfish and all sorts like crayfish, whatever you want to call them. Americans call them crows and Zeman have got a range. Zeman's got a range. These are a rapture ones that we're looking at. And you know, again, fish it with a on a jig head. I will show you some other methods in a little bit later, but you fish it on a jig head just exactly the same. And um, these are catching a lot of fish. And obviously if you've got this sort of sort of creature, you know you're twitching along the bottom. The Zeman ones are obviously the ones that stick up a little bit as well. So you've got you've got a bit stuck up in air. Bit more tempting, but just drag these along the bottom. Good for perch, perch you know, perch that have seen these whizzing past them a million times. Work these a little bit slower along the bottom, so it's a good option to have. I must admit, it's not something I fish much. Much of is not is not these crows and things, but I've been been tempted to give them a little bit more go for a few more, um, a few more spots on it. But I want to get some Zeman ones with some Zeman crows that are a little bit smaller, I think, than these. But again, your soft plastics. That's quite a long. Quite a long size one. There's no reason why you can't cut bits off of them and make the size that you want if it's too big for you. So we've looked at um, shads and um, grubs, TID. Um, personally, we have the little, little crawfish and things like creatures. All come in different sizes. Um, just get them to suit you, suit your setup. Uh, I tend to fish slightly heavier than um, a lot of people on, on soft, soft lows. Quite a little bit more, uh, you know, two and a, two to three inch sort of size lows, rather than the, and the heavier you get, rather than the really finesse, you know, 0 0.5 to five gram setups and things. So I'm often using you know, 10 to 12 grams sort of range. Um, but but suit it to your waters. When I went and fished the the, the Zander fishing, um, I went I knew we were fishing you know lighter water sorry shallower waters. So anyway, I had to get some lighter jig heads, um, 
something else that we're looking at in a second, some lighter lighter weights to get you down there and not be dragging bottom and sticking into everything, you know, digging into the silt, digging into the weed and digging into the snags.